Hey now, it's Anthony with a and Professional Services. Please follow me on Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. mulching leaves um, actually this is the house where I grew up I, mean, I come out here quite often um, you know once a month every two weeks and just come out here and check on it I come out here and see some of the side that has came off so I gotta go get that repaired, but uh, this is where I grew up. And this is where lawn care started for me. Right here in this backyard, I um, I mean, we played football back here as kids. We had a swing set back here. Uh, this is where it all started. This is where I did all my trial and error, where I learned new things on, you know, uh, techniques and tricks and stuff that I still do to this day. While I day. was out here mulching these leaves, I started thinking about like how I used to come back here with the push lawnmower, rake, garbage cans, bags, garbage bags, shovels, and stuff like that. And uh, it used to be a pine tree. This spot right here was a pine tree. And uh, it dropped a lot of pine needles. And you know, all those trees back here, now they still got leaves on them, but you know, they drop a lot of leaves on how I used to do stuff. And uh, I didn't have a, I didn't even have a blower when I first started. Didn't even know blowers existed. I had a, a push Craftsman lawnmower. Actually, my dad used to buy a self propel so I had a self propel lawnmower, you know, push style, um, hedge clippers. I'm talking about like Edward Scissorhands, hedge clippers. And that what I, that's what I used to use to trim <laughs> the bushes that were in the front of the house. And I also used to use those to edge the driveway, stuff like that. And uh, as I got older and I went to an electric, uh, an electric, what electric, uh, what you call it, weed eater. But it used to be a shed right here. Used to be two of them right there, and um, that's where my dad kept equipment. And so uh, I was just, you know, I never had anything in the shed. You know, everything that I used to work was in the garage. So one day I decided to go out to the shed. And I went out there and I found he had two electric weed eaters. So, so I started using those to edge. But anyway, I can go on and on anyway. But anyway. What, I, what, what this video is about, uh, it's really a trick of the trade. Uh, driveway, I used to have to uh, get a broom. And I would, I would get a broom and sweep everything up into a pile, pick it up with a dustpan. And that's what I used to have to do. But uh, then I, I finally bought a blower and I stopped doing that. But if you don't have a blower and you don't want to sweep, you can use your lawnmower as a blower. And uh, some of you guys that are in lawn care, y'all already know this. This is nothing new. But these are for the people who, who are new to this, never done it before. And I want to get you guys started. There's a lot of you guys don't want to start because you don't have the proper equipment. Or you feel that you don't have the proper equipment, but the majority of time you always have just enough to get you to get you by, to get you to the next day where you can make more money and be able to purchase more equipment. A little debris from when I mulched the front yard. Okay, here's the as you can see. I 
mulch the front. Got rid of all the leaves. Where most of them at least. You know, when I'm mulching, I never strive for perfection. Just I just get the leaves up. But anyway, it's just a little debris. And I'm going to make a pass with my lawnmower. And I'm going to show you how you can blow all this back into the yard with your lawnmower. driveways off after you get done mowing that's if you don't have a mower but you can also use a weed eater as a mower 